So ah. we are the first Bakras on this show. I'm really worried. So I am also very worried. This beautiful. Uh, list of I have no idea. Yeah, neither do I. Sure. So should we just? Yeah, let's begin. Press and play. Dekha jayega ab jo hoga. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Welcome to Tapecast. My name is. Well, never mind who I am. What matters is who you are. Shahid Kapoor, meet Rajkumar Hirani, one of Bollywood's most celebrated filmmakers, one of Bollywood's most respected writers, and one of Bollywood's most underrated actors. One of his finest performances as an actor can be seen in an ad for Fevicol. Raju Hirani, meet Shahid Kapoor, arguably one of the most versatile actors of this generation. from playing shy lover boy prem to an unstable drug addict pop star tommy to draping a dupatta around aishwarya rai shahid kapoor can do it all gentlemen in front of you lie two boxes the boxes contain questions you pick the topic and i'll ask the questions shall we begin i'm here to take you on a journey with two minds unlike any other there is no limit to their creativity They are the rule breakers, the norm makers. Are you curious to know how they think? So am I. Let's find out what makes them go beyond. Shahid, go ahead. Pick a topic for Raju. Okay. Hmm. It sounds pretty simple, <coughs> except we're doing it with cassettes, which used to exist while I was. a teenager which makes me feel rather old but should i just like in there so sir i'm going to start with the topic of relationships damn scary what's coming up i don't know now mr hirani in an industry like yours what do you feel are the qualities that define your true friends the ones you value the most uh at least i can speak for myself i think we are so obsessed or caught up with our own work that all our relationships are usually with people you are working with like if i have to look at my life i've spent i think more time with abhijat joshi than i've spent with my wife <laughs> and uh, so if my wife is hearing this i'm going to be in trouble <laughs> <laughs> you can say rajesh but rajesh also does that <laughs> usually they say you know you would you make friends when you're in school or in colleges yeah. and those are your true friends later all up kind of acquaintances you never make friends after sure. that but uh, i feel i've made friends after that who i've spent time with like with baman also i've taken umpteen holidays we just he'll just call up and say like once our film was being screened in un lagero mona bhai was at the un and i was in the i was in new york he happened to call me he asked me where are you and he was close to my office in bandra so he said uh, where are you i'm close to your office i'll join you for lunch i said yaar thoda dur padega tere ko main new york mein baitha hu is kya kar rahe ho i said uh, You know, like Ramu Nawaz is screened at the UN. So, why didn't you tell me? I would have come. I said, "So, tomorrow, come." He arrived. arrived. Yeah, I thought he's joking. He said, "Ha, I'll come." Then he spoke for five minutes and he disconnected. Yeah, yeah. Next day, one hour before the screening has happened, I'm about to leave. There's a knock on the hotel door. I open the door and Baman is standing there. Wow! And I couldn't believe that. Wow! I said, "I'm there," and we had such a lovely time. So, uh, so I guess our work defines our relationships. But Gee. it's a great, great space to be in. It's a great space to be in. Yeah. Okay, Shahid. So no. what do you want whatever you give sir yeah go for it i have no idea what's in it anyways so shall i begin with the same relationships uski se shuru karta hu mera wala itna safe nahi hoga sir mujhe lag raha hai okay here we go mr kapoor do you think stardom affects relationships tell me you had an arranged marriage How were you able to gauge that Meera was interested in the human being and not in the star? Uh does stardom impact relationships? I think uh whatever profession you're in uh will have an impact on your relationship especially if you're working a lot. So I think stardom comes with a lot of things which are probably beneficial for an actor in many ways but they're quite a burden for his life partner. A lot of things I also didn't know will come along with being a star. I was 20 21 when I did Ishkish and at that time all i wanted to do was be in front of the camera and you know be able to perform and act and do what <coughs> i've you know i've grown up watching these great actors and these great movies and i just want to be a part of that 
I mean, I love what I do so much that uh, what comes with it is something I have learned to live with. I'm not very natural with it. For example, I was a bit of an introvert. Yeah. So to be able to interact and engage with people was something I found very difficult in the beginning because I, even though my father's Pankaj Kapoor, but my parents separated when I was very young and I didn't really <laughs> grow up with him. So nobody knew I'm his son. Uh, so I, when I entered the fraternity, I was pretty much an outsider. And I still think I am one because I have not grown up. Like I think a lot of the people within the fraternity have grown up together. They're social acquaintances. They're kids of stars or filmmakers or producers mm. or <coughs> distributors or whatever. So they kind of know each other. You know, there's a there's that fraternal mm. feeling mm. between them. You know, what Muhammad Ali had once said that I want to go to a place where nobody knows me. I want to find a girl, woo her, marry her, get her back to where I come from, and then tell her who I am. That's amazing. <laughs> Actually, that's that's. I think that sums up deep down what most actors feel because you always wonder whether the people you're meeting are, first of all, perceiving you as the personality as opposed mm. to wanting to discover who you are. So yeah. So when so we you never felt threatened ki yar, main kisko date kar raha hu wo. wo <laughs> matlab sir, ha. Shahid ko actor ko date kar rahe hain ya. Yeah. I mean, honestly, when I was single, ev almost everybody I met, of course, that's the first thought that crosses your mind that is she here to meet me or is she here to. And that holds true for other people as well, as friends as well. You know, is he wanting to know me because I am Shahid Kapoor, so to say, or you know? So that thought is always there. So, uh, but you have to learn to keep it simple, I think, not overthink it. And yeah, when when I met Meera, actually she is very unassuming. I honestly didn't know whether we'll be able to talk also because she was 21 hmm. and I was 34. And so you know, she's from Delhi. I'm from Bombay. I'm an actor. She's just passed out of college. Mm. So I really didn't know what we will talk about, but we end up ended up speaking for seven hours. We really got along, and there was no conversation about movies. There was no conversation or questions or curiosity towards how is my life, mm. what happens in the film industry, what is it when you go to star parties, uh. and how is it when you're on a set? How do people treat? How do you feel when you go come out of an airport and people come running? None of the, those questions were asked. So It that's was, what got you. पूरी जिंदगी तो आप सेट पे बिताते हो वे यू आर बबल ट्रीटेड इन सर्टन वे विच इज सो डिफरेंट फ्रॉम रियालिटी सो द वन थिंग दैट यूर क्रेविंग एज एन एक्टर इज यार कोई नॉर्मल सी बात कर ले मेरे से मैं कहीं बीच पे नॉर्मल वॉक करने चला जाऊँ कहीं रुक के हम लोग कुछ स्ट्रीट फूड खा ले ड्राइव पे निकल जाए म्यूजिक सुने लाइफ की बातें करें दो थिंग्स एट यू एंड अप गिविंग लॉट ऑफ टिप्स टू ऑल दीज पीपल वॉचिंग दिस शो एवरी गर्ल विल कम एंड विद एवरी एक्टर दे वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट सिनेमा Yeah, well, if it works, God bless them, because I think that's what most actors want. At least I hope they do, because that's what makes you feel normal. So yeah, so it was very normal with uh, with Mira, and uh, I'm sure there's a lot of things which come along with being a star, which were difficult for her to adjust to. Like the first few times, you know, she went out. I used to always keep telling her that, you know, I think you should take a security person with you. And she used to always look at me like, what's wrong with you? Like, Why? You know? जाएगा that if you will insist that this happens then they will perceive me as if i'm trying so to be starry professional hazard you can't yeah, escape but it's that. a professional hazard <laughs> you know and uh, i'm sure there were many things like that and our biggest concern was misha because we wanted her mm. to feel normal mm. uh, and that will always be our concern and i will always ask myself this question whether i have burdened her because of who i am mm. and uh, that's something i have to live with and and try and undo as much as i can but i can't change it now i have to ask So let's talk about. Sir, I feel many of these don't uh, failure. So, आपका हुआ नहीं है. Compromise आप करोगे नहीं. आँख बंद करके उठा लीजिए सर. Do not play जा रहा हूँ सर मैं. अच्छा. मतलब do not play तो नहीं करना चाहिए. Hmm, I'm surprised you picked this one. What's the one thing you're comfortable cheating on, Mr. Hirani? चलो अच्छा वो thing बोला person नहीं बोला. Yeah, this is a tricky one. If my wife is listening to this, she'll be very curious to hear this answer. What I do cheat on her is I should love to be with myself a lot of times. Sometimes I actually come home and I'm thinking and I want to be with myself, so I just get into the car alone with some music and drive down. <laughs> I've driven from where I stay. Does she know this or she'll discover this with this show? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wives usually know everything. I just go right, go till Navi Nagar. I've done that like twice. 
at some nights just traveling by myself and uh, when I come back and suddenly she's half asleep, wherever you said I was working. I, I can totally connect with that. <laughs> I think it comes with being an artist, you know, you sometimes need to stay with yourself. And yeah. I remember when I was getting married, uh, I was shooting for Uddha Punjab. Oh. So, I was in Amritsar and Meera <coughs> was living in Delhi with her parents mm. at that time. So, it was just a 40 minute flight and mm. we were at that stage, we were getting to know each other. And she said, should I come see you? Mm. And I said, no, for the first 10 days, I don't want you to come. Huh. And she at that time was so thrown off because she was like, what kind of a guy are you? I mean, we're, you know, we're kind of getting to know each other uh, and we're supposed to get married and you're telling the girl you're thinking about getting married to don't come. not to come see you. What does that mean? Uh, I was like, you know, I can't explain this to you. Yeah. But I hope someday you will understand, you know, why I need this space. Yeah. Because it's one of the most difficult characters in my life and I don't want any distraction. I need to be able to only be here. Hmm. You know, and many years later, actually when I when we were seeing the film, so by then we were married. Then, uh, when, I, when I showed her the film, we saw it in the editing room, we saw it in the TV. Pe dekhi. Hmm. And I remember we went in a sofa, tha, sir, it was so big. Hmm. So we went and sat next to each other. And I got involved, I was like, 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 I was very nervous about my performance in the hmm. film. When the interval happened, I looked here and there was a distance of 10 feet between me and Meera. <laughs> From here, she had actually moved there because huh. she got up and she said, I don't think I know you. Huh. Because, who's that guy? And if you're that guy, I don't want to marry you. Or I don't want to live my life with you. So she was actually so thrown off when she uh, saw that for the first time uh, that I could feel that whenever uh, we were at home, uh, even if I would come close to her, she would give me that energy of, uh, I need time, like just yeah. keep your distance. So, you know. And cheating is something so subjective. Yeah. What is cheating? Cheating sure. is something I guess you want to do for yourself because you like to do it. Sure. And you don't want to hurt the other guy. So you're saying, okay, I'm hiding it and doing it. That's cheating. Yeah, but even not giving yourself time is cheating yourself in oh, a way. So like I, I remember I had my first cigarette when I was in the film institute in my final year. I'd never smoked before that. So my friends told me, don't buy a cigarette. Bum from us. Because you start buying, you start smoking. Yeah. So I was going to kill him every day. I was going to go home. I was to take a train from Pune to Nagpur. Mm. Ab, in the train, I felt like yeah, I have to have one. <laughs> so that's the first time I bought my pack of cigarettes. Packet. Now I have to hide it from my dad and mom. I have to hide it from my dad and mom. Next morning, dad walks up to me and uh, he came with a carton of cigarettes. Some expensive cigarettes and he gave it to me. He says, that's for you. I looked at him and said, dad, I don't smoke. He said, no, no, I'm not asking you to smoke. It's a good one, smoke this one. He said, no, no, mom's found it. So smoke this one. And he said, you come here for a limited time anyways. And all the people who smoke, then you know, walk out, have a cigarette. So I'll miss out on my time with you. So rather smoke this and... Wow. So, that was also cheating, but <laughs> you had a very evolved father, yeah? Yeah. Superb. So, Shahid, kya karun? Do not play jaun? Sir, jo aapko pooch hai, jaa pooch to. Sab jaga se hi hone. Main aankh ban kar ke uta raun. Jaa haath uta raun. Unbelievable. Sir, aapko pata to third last hai ho? Nahi, nahi, maine, maine ungli khoan hai. Do not play again for Shahid. Do not play. Fair enough. I'm surprised you picked this question. <laughs> Has there been a film where you felt cheated by your director? Calmly, answer calmly. Yeah, don't, get, don't get annoyed, don't get annoyed. How honest is being is good? That is a question right now. You can cheat on them now <laughs> and be polite. <laughs> yeah. There have been a couple of films, I would say, uh, where I felt cheated for the very reason that I felt that the filmmakers were not, uh, they were not in it, you mm. know. They were very successful filmmakers, the two that I'm talking. There are two people who come to mind right now. Uh, they were very successful at that time. And I think that was the problem. And uh, I actually have huge respect for you, sir, for this one thing. Because I don't know anybody who has seen success the way that you have seen it. And I have not seen any change in you, sir. And it is so inspiring because over the years, uh, one understands that finding success in <coughs> rel relatively, I think, is much easier than keeping it. Your true character defines where you get eventually, I feel. Talent can bring you success, but talent can't keep it for you. And it's very important to know uh, how to keep your focus, you know. Because but do you, do you start, while the film is being made, any film? I start freaking in, out. In sir. the journey, you start knowing that it's going wrong? Yeah. Yeah. I, 
See, there are so many films which went wrong where we gave it 100%. But when hmm. the process is flawed, huh. when you're seeing that everything is an okay take, oh, like and uh, sometimes the filmmaker is looking at his phone while a shot is going on. Hmm. So for me, I thought maybe, you know, it happens that this is cool hai, and you know, these days, you know, man, you know, filmmakers hmm. are discovering themselves. You know, so I was like, 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 I was and not result oriented Absolutely. because the result is not up to anybody we don't so know. just be true to the process and then if it's wrong it's wrong we'll try again we were all together in the journey Absolutely. you know Absolutely. so Give it your best your best might not be good enough but that's okay yeah At least the exactly intention is good yeah exactly that's it. yeah that's it. all right for the one and only mr raju tirani <laughs> who i'm having a wonderful time <laughs> learning from oh in god this beautiful interview no shit all true words are <laughs> yaar raju A friend of yours has a question for you. The success of your past films make you feel scared when you make a new film. How Imtiaz. do you deal with the pressure of expectation? It's Imtiaz, right? Oh, see how I guessed it. I can't forget <laughs> his voice. It's such an original voice, Imtiaz. Yeah, I cannot deny the fact that uh, uh, it's only a first film which you make completely fearlessly. Then fear sets in. and you've in a way tasted success tasted that appreciation and you want that to happen all the time but all i tell myself in that period is that there's no formula for success historical look at every director in the world people have made successful films people have made films which have not succeeded so it's going to happen to me some day i'll make films which will succeed some day they won't succeed all i can try and do is be true to myself and not think of a formula for success The moment you think of a formula for success, you try to preempt what the world is going to like. That's going to be the undoing, undoing of the whole thing. Be as honest as you were in your earlier film. Don't come under this pressure of no, this works, this works. Forget that. Make it for yourself. But, sir, But the moment you become dishonest and say, "Yeah, ये work करता है मैं एक ये item song डाल लूँ यार ये मैं एक action scene डाल लूँ हवा में उड़ा के anti gravity कुछ कर लूँ ये चल रहा है तो that's sure recipe for disaster if you. In fact, अभी जाते me any we. put a little set of rules for ourselves and we say that every time try and find one a unique story and try and find inspiration from your life you know uh, so then they are true the moment you start picking from uh, other films or other sources it's never it's never yeah pick reflections of life and they are i'm not saying that there's any formula we will still fail we might still fail in You, you create from a real space. Basically, you take yeah. something that you connect with, and then you start evolving. Huh. In, in so then at least it's new, you know. It's like how Rocky did that first, that whole training thing. He's boxing and he's going. Now every sports film you see will have that. It's aping that. So it's so now it's boring, yeah. Now you watch sure. that every film. Give you tire, laga ke tire se kudre hai, the skipping, the jumping. Every film has that. So it's boring sure. beyond sure. a point. Sure. But you dig into your own life. What stand-up comedians do actually? They're constantly seeing. Uh, uh, you know identifications of life reflections of life and they're picking up from what people do sure so when you sit in the theater and see that yaar you see aisa to mere sath bhi hota hai yaar i know somehow it does something yeah, it you, gets through ha uh, it gets through even the you, language barrier sometimes just goes yeah. for a toss so, you can totally relate uh, all we can do is continue making films and amazing sir be ready to fail someday great insight <laughs> great insight okay shahid here goes the challenge for you Shahid, I have a surprise for you. A fan of yours has an interesting question. Hey, Shahid, uh, Naman here from Chennai. Uh, love the trailer. You're looking great. Uh, my question to you is: With time, um, ideologies of people change, and um, so you know uh, the way people used to think earlier, they don't anymore. So, how does it affect you as an actor? to assume the character of a person who is you know from another century and his ideology so different so much so that he could have multiple wives <coughs> oh nice question very very nice question naman so the answer is similar to what uh, sir said uh, i think if you cannot relate to a character at any level i don't think you should play it you can spend time trying to reach a point where you can find 
something that you can connect with and that can come from the filmmaker it can come from the script it can come from friends you know if you really like a character if you really want to play it you will try your best to find something where you feel you can connect with it and therefore you can own it and therefore you can represent it and play it correctly for people to believe you're him so the interesting thing about the way sanjay sir makes historicals and he's i think the best in this country at that absolutely uh is that he believes that if you if us while we are sitting and discussing a scene <clears throat> cannot relate to it we should not write that scene or we should not do that scene oh. because we are making it for an audience in 2017 or 2015 2010 so it has to be a cinematic experience which can be understood appreciated which people can relate to and i think eventually every story is a human journey um every film is about relationships it's about people it's about emotions and i think that's why cinema somehow never goes out of fashion great films will all, always be great films i mean films that might be technically laughable are still classics because even though they were made at a time where sometimes the camera is going like this mm-hmm. or you know the visual quality is really bad or the sound sometimes is not good when you see it and we're used to all those things being so good today what holds you in a film i think is the humanity of it absolutely The The end. The end. अब हम बड़े रिलैक्स हो जाएंगे हाँ जी दी एंड लगा दो वेल इट वॉज ग्रेट चैटिंग विद यू फाइन जेंटमैन आई कॉन्ट थैंक यू इन फॉर बींग हियर एंड शेयरिंग योर एक्सपीरियंसिस एंड थॉट्स आई बी बैक सून विद न्यू फेसिस न्यू टेप्स एंड मोर So it was a pleasure. So we have to thank each other, not Absolutely. the host. <laughs> thank you, sir. It was Super, really yeah, great fun. Thank you.